welcome back to the channel um i do apologize i wasn't around yesterday just had a lot of other things on my plate so i couldn't come yesterday to talk with you guys about the crazy market conditions that we are seeing so uh today we continue with the slide and uh again you know liquidity problems are afflicting many americans and uh high inflation and uh access to cash is really really hard right now so you can see this reflected in the stock market with the s p 500 down 1.44 percent the dow 30 down 1.20 percent nasdaq down 2.30 percent russell 2000 down 2.33 percent and uh, the slide just continues from yesterday everything in the red except crude oil which is uh, now at 110 dollars a barrel and uh, that represents an increase of 1.86 percent so with most of the indices in the red uh, surprisingly digital world acquisition corporation is up 3.81 percent again uh i i can't re reiterate this enough these are on unpre unprecedented levels three months from now you will look back and probably ask yourself why you did not go all in in digital world acquisition corporation uh the direct competitor to digital world acquisition corporation is twitter and that stock is down today i believe they're trading at about 49 dollars and uh tweet uh digital world was down i think about 44 dollars earlier today so it started really timidly in the red and then it has worked its way all the way up to 47 dollars 17 cents representing an increase of 3.83 percent uh on an interesting note please uh, remember that kathy wood of arc investments has dumped most of her twitter stock and uh twitter is also being sued by a police pension fund based out of florida uh, because of the transaction in which twitter engaged by selling itself to the billionaire elon musk now back to digital world and uh, truth social even as we speak uh, president donald trump has 2.55 million followers on the truth social app and uh, he just truthed that he will be in greensburg pennsylvania today friday the 6th of may 2022 at 8 p.m eastern daylight time and you can text trump that's t-r-u-m-p to the number eight eight zero two two so text trump t-r-u-m-p to the number eight eight zero two two for more information and uh, back to digital world acquisition corporation uh, we haven't really had much press but uh, elon musk has been talking a lot about uh, truth social and so that's the only way they are picking up on that but you can feel this deliberate almost coordinated effort to not pronounce the word truth social but unfortunately guys is going to become mainstream uh, president donald trump was the locomotive that pulled twitter up to where it found itself and now he has started with truth social uh, all the candidates he endorsed have joined him on the platform um, i believe i saw also a uh, representative uh, the one from hawaii tulsi gabbard she's also on here uh, so there's a whole bunch of uh, conservatives and also you know liberals on the platform because it has slowly become the place where you can freely express yourself even as twitter is planning on start you know charging governments and also uh, <laughs> industry so uh, the place where you can actually just go and freely you know like a town hall express your views is going to be truth social uh, we're all anxiously anxiously waiting for the platform to be open you know to browse us that way you can access it directly from your you know portable device your uh, computer your laptop your desktop 
or uh, also to become available for android users that way you have another large swath of the uh, economy of the population who will be able to access the platform of course all of this requires uh, a lot of data data centers bandwidth and it costs a lot of money and uh, truth social is still in its infancy even though it's growing so fast but uh, we have to be realistic with uh, expectations and uh, representative uh, Devin Nunes, who is the CEO, has made that abundantly clear that uh, the platform is here to stay and uh, will succeed. So I think that every little step that they take, uh, they take them cautiously and watch out you know, for the end user experience. So a lot of chatter about Elon Musk uh, talking about Truth Social. And that is the only press that we get for Truth Social. Uh, but just keep our fingers crossed. Once more, you can catch up with President Donald Trump. He has a link on Truth Social uh, pointing to where the uh, campaign meeting, where he will be stomping for Dr. Oz, for I think it's the Senate seat for Pennsylvania. Uh, so he endorsed uh, Dr. Oz and he's just going there to bolster his uh, support for uh, the candidate that he chose for the Senate. So that is what is happening. And uh, that's, remember guys, that's one of the uh, very hotly contested seats, uh, these uh, coming uh, midterm elections. So you have that seat over there in uh, Pennsylvania, and then you also have a couple of seats in Ohio, which were highly, highly uh, contested. So J.D. Vance, I believe he won one of those seats. And now you have Dr. Oz, for whom the president will be stomping in uh, Pennsylvania. Well, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel. We keep growing from strength to strength. And uh, take a look at your screens, guys. Uh, now, Digital World Acquisition Corporation has jumped two more percentage points since we started talking and is now at uh, plus 5.50 almost six percentage points guys <laughs> it's insane uh volume is at 1.7 which is still timid because we're heading towards the close of market i don't know if some press has come up but yeah the thing is really uh it's like a locomotive it's picking up steam and i think by close of today uh we would have this uh trading even higher average volume 4 million we're now at 1.7 million uh, the days range $43 all the way up to $48. That's impressive. And the 52-week range from $9.84 all the way up to $175. Lots and lots of headroom. And I think that, I don't know yet if Kathy Wood has spoken on this, but I think she probably pulled her Twitter uh investment <laughs> and her arc uh, fund will be investing a lot quietly in digital world acquisition corporation she can see the future i believe and uh yeah the sands are moving already underneath people's feet and i think that for the social media space uh, for politics captains of industry entertainers everything is pointing towards digital world acquisition corporation for that's where everyone is migrating and i think by the midterms this november everybody will be discussing on uh, truth social and then twitter will just become another pr firm uh, where they would be advertising you know ideologies from one single or a couple of individuals and uh, shaping the world according to the way they see fit like big tech does thanks for joining me and i will catch you guys on the next one Bye.